you like it, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Past that point, everybody's got individuality. So stick to being yourself. You know, you know what's funny? It's like in 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 in, uh, in society, especially in America, man. Right? The man at the top, like this is the way he's been controlling the masses is trying to divide us into groups. You know, black, white, Christian, Muslim, all of this shit, right? Yeah. But, but peep this, man. When Eminem's first Slim Shady LP, um, the demo was going around. People didn't know what color he was, bro. because you talked about white rappers in particular mm. do you think that mentally and psychologically it still matters like do we still want to see some like this no i i know so that musically for you it doesn't matter but like yeah. I'm, I'm i'm trying to wonder like if there is something psychological where we want to see someone that kind of reminds us of us yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, this idea just came into my head. How do you feel about that? Because when you, the reason I'm bringing it up is because you said when you were looking into white rappers. So my question would be, what was the reason for you look, looking into white rappers? And does it matter in on any kind of level? I think it varies person to person, you know, like it's, it's going to be different for somebody like me that, you know, comes from the burbs and I go to high school and, you know, I, I end up in math class and, you know, I fucking bring a PB and J to lunch every day. And, you know, I, I come home to a relatively good situation. You know, it's it's going to be different for me and the music that I relate to, to maybe compared to somebody else that might, you know, live in poverty, live in the hood, mm -hmm. you know, deal with struggle. And they hear rappers that might look like them or remind them of their upbringing or like, you know, any of that stuff that kind of finds them in a space to where they relate. You know, so like I, I always like growing up for me, like I didn't have a ton of slew of like you know crazy things that i went through in my family fortunately enough and it was really cool to kind of get through you know finding a genre of rap music where it felt like it was like just you know fun to listen to you know it was energetic it was upbeat it felt like summertime you know like all those kind of little things so i i for the most part growing up i was a pretty positive person you know whereas like you know other people some of my other buddies like they grew up with some struggle for real Mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like there there was there's some hoods that my friends have grew up in and they had some really hard struggles and like a lot of the music they listen to with the certain rappers they do even white or black no matter what you know they related to it and it, it got them through a lot so i think the perspective is definitely one to who you are i think the stigma of like skin color nowadays is pretty like shot out i don't really? think like you know Maybe, maybe there's still some weirdos on the internet that think it's kind of uncool to be white and rap. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, music's music. And if the music's good and you like it, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Past that point, everybody's got individuality. So stick to being yourself. You know, you know what's funny? It's like in, 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 uh, in society, especially in America, man, right? The man at the top, like this is the way he's been controlling the masses is trying to divide us into groups, you know, yeah. black, white, Christian, Muslim, all of this shit, right? Yeah. But, but peep this, man. When Eminem's first Slim Shady LP, um, the demo was going around, people didn't know what color he was, bro. Yeah. Dr. Dre talked about this. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He said I didn't know. He said the first time I found I found out the dude is white is when I seen him in a in the airport, bro. So the V. It's incredible. Wow. So 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 now to something that you said, you see, like music doesn't have this, bro. Music does not have a color, man. It does not. Absolutely not. But I still think that so just psychologically, right? Like, because like I'm Slavic, right? And growing up, I didn't feel like I was a I was a white person, like because Slavs are, you know, they were we're like we're, we're put in a different category in America, whatever, right? Yeah. Like historically, man. And yeah. Sicilians too. It's like it's the silliest, dumbest thing ever. Again, like the man, this is the way the man controls us, man. Sadly and, enough. Right. So, but 
I must say, when Eminem first dropped on an international, when when Hi My Name is dropped, yeah. For some reason, I when I seen that shit, for some reason, a little part of me was like proud, man. Right? Because right? I, I was like, yo, this white boy is killing it, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now all these other rappers, you can't just say, oh, you know, white man can't jump and this and that. Like this yeah. dude is this dude is showing you. And plus, you got to remember, he came right after the whole Vanilla Ice spectacle man where vanilla ice effed up the game for a lot of white rappers you know white rappers were looked at silly man but here comes this white dude man and he smashes it and he's showing the whole world that look it don't matter what color you are are you a dope mc bro right what you what talent what can you bring to the table in your own individuality you bro, know in your bro. own skin in your own spirit Bro, and I remember, like, I remember being proud of him. Yeah. But I will say this before we go on down the track list, because I took you way left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we we made a left turn, man. So, because I, you know, I'm I'm international, bro. I'm global. Like, I speak five languages. I stay in touch with people overseas. Like all of this. I must say, hip hop became worldwide because of Eminem. Mm. That's and, damn. and this is a fact because I remember even as being a kid, every time I would go to the suburbs, man, you know, me rocking like big uh, uh, baggy, saggy pants and all of that. People were calling me Wigger, man, because it was still rock and roll was still very much a global thing, man. Hip hop wasn't right. accepted like that, man. Right. So Eminem made hip hop worldwide. I'm going to take you even further. I, I think this. I think the possibility of us actually having a black president was because of Eminem, bro. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, why, why do you why, say that? Because Eminem opened up the door all of a sudden. He crossed that bridge, bro. Because mm -hmm. America was very America didn't want to admit it. But in the 90s, America was still very much segregated, man. On the low, on the low, but segregated, man. The hood was over here. The suburbs was over here. And there was no connection. And right. this dude came and he brought a connection. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where it opened up a lot more minds to people like, oh, well, there can be a black president, bro. Right, right. Just my humble opinion, man. <laughs> no, I fully agree with that. Honestly, like that was that was such a cool take on that. It's it's kind of like being that guy that you know can inspire a generation of new, you know, being being that guy to sit there and realize what you are, you know, say fuck the stigmatisms, fuck what anybody got to say, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You know, you can look at me and use me as a shining example for whatever situation you come from. He's like a hybrid person. It's like mm. you look at the guy, he looks like he's a normal guy that probably does blue collar work, <laughs> right? But as soon as this guy steps on the mic, he's going to like, like, destroy you, bro. Nobody wants a piece of M, bro. No, absolutely not. Absolutely nobody. not. Nobody. There's you a lot of other great rappers out there that still don't want a piece, but like, bro, you, you don't screw with Eminem. You can talk your shit, but nobody wants a piece, man. Once, once it comes to like talking shit, and I was very surprised that MJK, MGK took a took a jab, bro. Like. <laughs> What, what do you think about that battle, by the way? This is Solomon. 